Hello. Today we're looking at Paul Masson Grand Amber Brandy. VS, very smooth. That's the age grade on it. Very smooth from what I've been able to find out by reading is aged at least two years. And there's other age grades. This is the VVSOP, very, very superior old pale. Uh, but apparently there's no real government regulation of that so it's basically whatever the, the company wants to put on it and you just have to hope that they're not you know trying to pull something on you okay Paul Masson he was a French immigrant to the United States and in 1882 together with some partners <coughs> they started a winery not just brandy but all sorts of wines but the Paul Masson brandies today are very big like one of the big brands in America um, from what I was reading went back and forth France to the United States doing different things and um, eventually through death of other people uh, and marriage he inherited the whole company <coughs> and his family ran it you know he died in 1940 I think he was born in 1852 or 59 uh, pretty sure it was 59. He died in 1940, then his family continued to own it, but it, like with things today, we know they got bought out and they're currently owned by Constellation Brands, the people that handle um, Corona Extra in the United States, Modelo, um, you might have seen the uh, Taylor wines, those uh, dessert wines, so it's a huge company beer wine spirits and uh, they've always had a close association from what I can tell with Anheuser-Busch InBev Anheuser-Busch InBev owns the Corona and the Modelo the group of Modelo brands when you cross that river into Mexico but once you cross the river one mile away into Texas then it's suddenly a Constellation Brands item although Bet you can't guess who distributes all the Grupo Modelo beers around the United States. Okay, getting back to this, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to do like one a month, a brandy, and then switch back to Sherry's, brandy, Sherry. Not make a big thing, you know, still do the beer reviews, obviously, as the main focus, but it is interesting to look at these other things. Uh, there is one other video review for this brandy from last year and they were a, a man and a lady and they were very they were very positive towards it very favorable towards it they thought it was very good and uh, from what I can tell it gets pretty good scores and reviews whatever okay uh, I can tell you I've never had it now get all this foil off of it. Put it out of the way so it doesn't make the video look ugly. Alright, bought this at Walmart. They had a... Uh, it's got a real cork. And it's not a plastic cork. Uh, that's good to know. Uh, they had it for about $9.50. It was a lot lower than the other places. I saw it around at other stores around $11.99. $11.50 to $11.99 and $10.45 10.50 at other Walmarts, but the one here, for whatever reason, had it for about 9.50, so I bought that one. I was going to get the, um, the VS from E and J, Ernest and Julio, but because um, I'd had that one before, about at least 50 probably like between 15 and 18 years ago and I thought it was kind of harsh but I wasn't really used to these and somebody told me that today the uh, area sales representative for Anheuser-Busch beers here today told me oh Brandy that's some harsh stuff I have some and I cook with it I said you thought it, you think it's harsh because I had this Fleur de, Fleur de Lis Napoleon and I found it super smooth but anyway well okay <clears throat> it's gonna take me hours to sip on this stuff well you could see that these are cognac glasses, by the way, and cognac is a type of brandy brewed in the cognac region of France. Neither one of these would be cognac. This is much more amber than that. This is like a burnished gold, a lighter gold, and this is amber. Okay. There's also a 
Paul Masson, um VSOP, very smooth old pale, or I believe it stands for very superior old pale. Okay, very superior old pale. I gotta learn these things. Um, and I'll try to get that one eventually. And then I was at, uh, I went to my thirds today, I was in there, and I was like, looking at all the brandies, I'm like, golly, they, they've got so many different ones, you know, just there. And so it's like a huge, whole other universe that I'm not familiar with. There's a lot of flavored brandies. That's like a big deal too. Peach, apple, blackberry, grape, you know, all of that. Um, but I'm gonna try to avoid those and just go with the, the more traditional ones. Although apparently the apple brandies and all that is kind of traditional. Um, so I've let them breathe a little bit. Mmm, man, that one is, they said vanilla and caramel. Yeah, there's some vanilla, and it's just a, <clears throat> it's alcoholic, right? So, I mean, it's strong, but it's, <clears throat> it's somewhat fruity and somewhat nutty and a little woody from the oak. Mm, that is so rich. Yeah, okay, so they're both 80 proof. So $12.99 for this one liter, <laughs> and $9.50, I believe, I have the receipt somewhere, for 750 milliliters. 750, 1,000 milliliters, okay. Uh, so much different. So much different. I think this is fruitier, there's more of a floral, like, some I almost wanted to say some of some of these springtime flowers, like the ones I was smelling out there when I was walking earlier. I'm trying to I can't remember the name of those. <clears throat> it's about as different as you can imagine. And I wish you could smell it through the internet. It's very different. This may be more of a candy aroma. This is more of the nutty. I don't know, it's, it's too complex to sit. I'll just have to go on for an hour really to get it proper. So let's go with the flavors. definitely got that warming right when it gets here in the chest down there it's an expansive warming it's like almost directly into the bloodstream so it's it's noticeable there so there's a phys physiological effect right off the, the bat some nutty like maybe even almonds the vanilla Definitely is, and it, it comes in more, comes more into play in the undertaste. So that's fascinating. And there is caramel and there is other candies. And of course, these are made from distilled grapes. So, and then there's other kind of brandies like pomace. I was reading pomace, which is like the leftover from the grapes after they crush out all the juice. So it's, I was re I was like, uh, there's dozens and dozens of different types, so it's, like I say, could literally get caught up and only do those brandies. You could literally get caught up and only do sherry. And then I'm still doing the beer, obviously. Their website is pretty good. There's their Constellation Brands, then they have this website for the brand itself. There's a Facebook page, which seems to be pretty active. So, apparently there's a community, right? Now, people said, uh, some people said, well, what are you going to do about whiskey reviews? I said, it's going to probably be at least 12 years before I even get to that. So, 
I don't look for that anytime soon. <clears throat> I'll say, let's say, you know, God willing, we're alive, whatever. but let's say, let's wait at least 12 years and then we'll look into that. So 20, 28, we'll check that out. It's going to take me that long. I think at least 12 years to get to that, to get decently covered in the brandy and sherry. Decently covered, not particularly well covered. It's, these are kind of thick in the mouth, so it's so much different than beer you can imagine. The finish is, you know, abrupt. And on this one, maybe it's a little longer finish. I know, I'm not rinsing my mouth with water, but it's not affecting it because the flavor is so different. This one honestly has a, I noticed this the first video I did and I was thinking about it. It has a peppery note and I don't know where that's coming from. It's it's like black pepper. And I don't think either one of these is flavored and I don't think they're colored. Some of the brandies I noticed said caramel color or artificial color. This is not saying that at all. It's just the grapes distilled and distilled to make the aged aged to give it the uh, amber or the gold. I can't help you find this one because there's nothing, nothing on the internet about this. Not in competition, not in websites I found where they list different, you know, find your favorite brandy or nothing, nothing. So this is about the oddest item this you'll see at any, you know, any place that sells a brandy is going to sell Paul Masson, okay? It's like a store that sells, but a beer is going to have Budweiser. That's going to be there. Okay, which one's better? Uh, I cannot say one is better than the other. They're just unique. This, peppery notes. Even some... I'm saying straw or grass, but I know that can't be, you know, obviously cannot be, cannot be right. This is more on the fruity, nutty almond. Uh, that aroma is fascinating. You know, we like to do the beers because they, so often they have this depth of flavor, this complexity of aroma and flavor. And I'm finding out this has that. Not to say whiskey does not, or scotch, or bourbon, or any of those variants. I'm saying, I, you know, I just picked this because it seemed to be sort of a kind of neglected area of spirits. I mean, I could do what everybody else is doing, but then uh, I kind of like to look at things that aren't being looked at. Sherry, I don't hear any chatter about Sherry, and I don't hear any chatter about Brandy, so, <clears throat> excuse me, it's kind of interesting to go, it's not kind, it's very interesting to look at what's not being looked at. And maybe it could expand and we get some other people involved in this and it's not just me talking to a camera and I have some other people saying, well, look, I'll try this one, this, and whatever. I'm going to try that VSOP next, I think, from Paul Masson. And I'm going to see how it matches up with this one. Um, and I mean, if you went to Gorgonax and you saw what I saw, you would be floored. And these are not cheap. <laughs> Nine fifty a bottle is about as cheap as it's going to come, and they're going up to $3,000 a bottle, but I don't think you're going to see me do that one. Got to sip it. Fascinating, folks. Fascinating. It is such an interesting adventure. Thank you for watching this video production.